Sutra. He pacifies all living beings of the ten directions. All that he does is true and natural. He always has a pure mind and does not use wrong speech, and is constantly aided and protected by all Buddhas. He is completely mindful of everything in the past. He totally differentiates everything in the future. Universally, he enters the worlds of the ten directions in order to rescue living beings and effect their escape. The Bodhisattva perfects the wondrous wisdom light and well comprehends causes and conditions without any doubts. All confusion and delusion are completely cut off. In this manner, he travels throughout the Dharma realm. The palaces of demon kings are all broken up. The obscuring cataract of living beings is extinguished. He leaves discriminations and has an unmoving mind, and well comprehends the state of the first come ones. Commentary: He pacifies all living beings of the ten directions. He causes all living beings to become content and to have no difficulty or obstructions. All that he does is true and actual. Whatever he does is true and actual, without any falseness. In the expansive sutras, there is a passage in which the Buddha speaks to thunderous causes Bodhisattva about the past causes and conditions of the Dharma Flower Sutra. He said. In the past, there was a Buddha named Worlds of Praise who has long since entered Nirvana. When this Buddha was in the world, you and I were the same. When the Buddha was in the world, there was a Bodhisattva named Superior Leader who transformationally appeared as a begging monk, a bhikshu. He went into the city to beg for alms. At the same time, there was another bhikshu whose name was always auspicious, who spoke to the begging monk, saying, "Where do you come from?" The monk responded, "I come from the true and actual." Then, always auspicious, further asked him, "What is meant by true and actual?" The Bodhisattva Superior Leader, who assumed the transformational appearance of a begging monk, replied, "The true and natural is characterized by still extinction." The Bhikshu, always auspicious again, asked, "Within that which is characterized by still extinction, is there any seeking or not?" The begging monk responded, "There is no seeking." The Bhikshu, always auspicious, then said. Why are you still seeking within that which is not, which is without seeking? The begging monk answered, "Because I am within that which is without seeking. I want to seek." Always auspicious, Bhikshu again asked, "Why do you still seek within that which is without seeking?" The begging monk answered, "All one seeks for obtains attaches to what is true." What can be spoken, what is asked, are all empty. This is what is called the still extinction of nirvana, in which everything, including the world, is empty, because these are progress progressively empty dharma. Within emptiness, I seek the true and actual. Always auspicious, Bishu asked, Bodhisattva, where do you seek the true and actual? The begging monk said. Within the six parameters and the ten thousand conducts. After always auspicious Bhikshu heard the begging monk respond to him in this manner, he was very happy. He sold his own body and then took the money he received from selling it, and offered it to the begging monk. See how people in the past, in their quest for dharma, gave rise to the great Buddha mind and made offerings to the Bodhisattvas and the Triple Jewel. He took his own body and sold it in order to make an offering to the begging monk. So he says in the text, all that he does is true and actual. He always has a pure mind and does not use wrong speech. He always maintains a pure mind and does not speak contradictory words. All that he says is true. He does not speak empty and false words, 
and this bodhisattva who first brings for the Bodhi mind is constantly aided and protected by all Buddhas of the ten directions. He is completely mindful of everything in the past. The Buddhas of the past are all also always mindful of the Bodhisattva who has first brought forth the Bodhi mind. He totally differentiates everything in the future. All the Buddhas in the future also especially aid and protect these Bodhisattvas. Universally, he enters the walls of the ten directions from the time he first brings forth the body mind until he realize, realizes the right and equal enlightenment. He is able to enter all the world systems of the ten directions in order to rescue living beings and effect their escape. He does this so as to widely cross over living beings and cause them all to live suffering and obtain happiness. The Bodhisattva perfects the wondrous wisdom light. The Bodhisattva perfects wondrous wisdom and well comprehends causes and conditions without any doubts. He clearly understands all causes and conditions, results and retribution, and he doesn't have the slightest doubt about them. All confusion and delusion are completely cut off. The Bodhisattva understands any situation he perceives. He sees all living beings and clearly understands all of their actions, so he doesn't have any confusion. Rather, he has cut it off and attained wisdom. In this manner, he travels throughout the Dharma realm. With this kind of great wisdom, he travels throughout the entire Dharma realm. The palaces of demon kings are all broken up. That Bodhisattva is able to cause the palaces of demon kings to be broken up and ruined. The obscuring cataract of living beings is extinguished. Living beings' ignorance is like an obscuring membrane. It is as if their eyes produce an obscuring, my, uh, uh, obscuring film, so they can't see clearly. But now this cataract is extinguished, so it doesn't exist anymore, which means living beings' ignorance is destroyed. He leaves discriminations and has an unmoving mind. When the Bodhisattva teaches and transforms living beings, it is done universally with a mind which doesn't make discriminations and does not move, and he well comprehends the state of the first come ones. He well understands all of the states attained by the first come ones. Sutra, the net of doubts of the three buddhas of time, has already been obliterated. In the presence of the first come ones, he gives rise to pure faith. By means of faith, he realizes unmoving wisdom. Because of the purity of his wisdom, he understands the true and natural. In order to cause living beings to escape, he universally benefits them, exhausting the boundaries of the future. For a long time he toys, yet his mind is without repulsion, to the extent that he also calmly endures the house. His blessings and wisdom are limitless and totally perfected. The rules and designs of living beings are all known to him, as well as all of their karma and actions. He speaks the drama for them as they like it. He understands that everything is empty and without a self. He has kind thoughts for living beings without ever forsaking him, forsaking them. He enters the world everywhere and proclaims a single subtly wonderous out a great compassion. He emits great light of various colors, which universally shines upon living beings and eradicates their darkness. Within the light are bodhisattvas seated upon lotus flowers, who for the sake of the mantitus proclaim dharmas of purity. Commentary The net of doubts of the three birds of time has already been obliterated. Obliterated. 
all of his various hobbies of the past, present, and the future, as well as his confusion and native doubts, have already been demolished. They don't exist anymore. In the presence of the thus come ones, he gives rise to pure faith. In the Buddha's way blazes, he produces a heart of pure faith. By means of faith, he realizes unmoving wisdom. By means of a heart of pure faith, he accomplishes unmoving wisdom. Because of the purity of his wisdom, he understands the true and actual. Because he has pure and moving wisdom, he is able to clearly understand true and actual principles. In order to cause living beings to escape, because he wishes to cross over and liberate all living beings, so that they leave suffering and obtain bliss, he generously benefits them, exhausting the boundaries of the future. He exhausts the boundaries of the future in order to pervasively benefit all living beings. For a long time he toils, yet his mind is without repulsion. For a very long time he cultivates all kinds of suffering and undergoes all kinds of practices which do not comply with his heart. Yet he does not become distressed or afflicted to the extent that he also calmly induces the health. The Bodhisattva, for the sake of teaching and transforming all living beings, bears all kinds of suffering, so he is not afraid to go down to the house. His blessings and wisdom are limitless and totally perfected. All of the blessings and wisdom which he has cultivated are full and complete. They are totally perfected. The rule. The roots and desires of living beings are all known to him. He also totally understands living beings' basic natures and what they desire, as well as all of their karma and actions. He clearly understands all living beings' karma and actions, and he speaks the drama for them as they like it. He speaks drama for living beings as they like it. He uses giving kind words, beneficial acts, and identical work. The four dramas of attraction to teach and transform living beings. He understands that everything is empty and without a self. He understands that every single thing is empty and has no true self. Therefore, he doesn't have any attachments. He has kind thoughts for living beings without ever forsaking them. He always thinks of living beings with kindness and compassion. And he never forsakes a single one. He enters the world everywhere and proclaims a single subtly wondrous sound of great compassion. He enters the whole world systems everywhere to speak the drama for all beings, and uses a single greatly compassionate, subtle, and wondrous sound. He emits great light of various colors. He puts forth a brilliant great light which has all kinds of colors. Which universally shines upon living beings and eradicates their darkness. It shines upon living beings everywhere and dispels all of their darkness of ignorance. Within the light are bodhisattvas seated upon lotus flowers. Within the light there are bodhisattvas seated upon great jeweled lotus flowers, who, for the sake of the multitudes, proclaim dharmas of purity for the sake of all living beings. They explain all of the pure, wondrous dramas. Sutra. On the tip of a single hair, he manifests a multitude of shetras, and all the great bodhisattvas fill them up. The wisdom of the assemblies are each different. All are able to clearly comprehend the hearts of living beings. Commentary. The bodhisattva who first brings forth the mind. Receives the great, awesome spiritual power of all the Buddhas of the ten directions. On the tip of a single hair, he manifests a multitude of shetras, and all the great bodhisattvas fill them up. He is able to manifest the Buddha shetras of the ten directions, and all those Buddha shetras are also filled up with all the great bodhisattvas. In each land is a pure oceanic assembly of great bodhisattvas. The wisdom of the assemblies are each different. 
all are able to clearly comprehend the hearts of living beings. All of these bodhisattvas understand the thoughts in the hearts of living beings.